So if Volron is the Lord of the Water Realm, then it's probably safe to say he has some water abilities tucked up his sleeve. He and Elfin couldn't be any more different. It's like they were practically born to be rivals. Looking back on it, in both of our previous encounters, he's only ever fought us with his sword. We haven't seen what else he's capable of. And yet, even with only his blade, he still managed to overwhelm us. He's a force to be reckoned with. That much is certain. Yeah, that guy is seriously bad news. <laughs> It'll be okay, Hoodle. We'll get through this. <sighs> Shion? It's nothing. Let's keep moving. This area is the grandest looking of the lot, and not a single soldier in sight. So probably the place. This is it, everyone. We can't let Voron treat people's lives like toys any longer. We need to put an end to his tyranny here and now. Everyone ready? Ready. We've come this far. Without question. I'm nervous, but I know what needs to be done. We've come for you, Volron! Did you really come all this way, just so I could take you back over his dead body? Bastard! <clears throat> he dismissed them? He must not think he needs them to defeat us. <laughs> Why have you been coming after me? Isn't it your ambition to become the winner of the crown contest? My ambition, you say? <laughs> I have no ambitions. Everything was mine to control. Everything, including your life! I'm happy to see you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? A lonely, watery grave is all the burial you shall ever deserve. And yet, it wasn't without regret that I watched you sink beneath those waves. Now, I get to savor carving the life of your body myself. So all this... Kidnapping shield, sacrificing your fear. It was all just for your own sick satisfaction? To help pass the time? I would not expect you to understand the tedium that absolute power brings upon you. I've had it with your mad ramblings. I'm here to take you down, Volron, and free those you've enslaved! Very well. I shall look forward to fashioning my throne from the remains of your existence. Today you will die at my hand. And I shall bask in your final desperate pleas. Well, I look forward to disappointing you. Nonsense! Watch this! None shall escape my judgment! Die! Here's a healing art! Once for all! Freezing Carve through all! Entertain me! None shall escape my judgment! Lightning, raging, lightning, 
here. Astral energy. Say no more. It's all over. Volron. Now put an end to that death procession you're holding outside. Right now! <laughs> you think this is over? What? Who do you think you are?! <laughs> No, that's... How can this be? If Alvin's the Sovereign, how is it possible that Volron has that crest as well? And if Volron's the Sovereign, then what was the point of the Crown Contest? After everything we've witnessed, it would seem the whole thing is a ruse. Here's a healing arm! Out of my 
There. We finally collected all of the Master Cores. So what do we do now? It is said that bringing all the Master Cores together in one place should form the Renes Alma. So, now we put Xion's with the rest. With that, we can finally free her of her thorns. Shh. 
Lucia. What's going on? Are we missing something? We can't be. So why isn't it? Alfin! Behind you! <laughs> what? Sion, were you the maiden? What is this? Why is this happening? What the? The master course! Is that darkness? A dark master core? Venice Alma is only supposed to consist of the five Denon elements. This works. Do you think you do it? Disappeared? What in the world just happened? Is it over? No. It's only just begun.
A month has passed. For the time being, we decided to stay put in Ganeth Haros. Even with their lord toppled, we had a long way to go before the people of Pelegion would be liberated in their hearts and minds. Lenigus hung ominously over our heads. We knew we'd need to deal with it sooner or later. We still had so many questions. The two sovereigns, the Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The present and the past of 300 years ago. Not to mention what happened to Volron's body after his defeat. Still, we were determined to keep fighting. I had my hands full taking care of everything. But in some ways I was kind of grateful to be so busy. Are you all right? You looked like you were spacing out there. Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. You need something? It's about that citizen's petition. I was coming to talk to you about it. If I'm being honest, I think the problems of this realm's Danans hit close to home for me. Oh? You saw how things were in Menencia? We might have put way too much faith in Dohalim, but at least we could still think independently. The people of this realm weren't even afforded that much basic dignity. I don't know what kind of future the people here are going to ultimately choose, but whatever it is they decide, I want to help do my part so they can make that decision of their own free will. You mean like how the Danans and Renans of Menencia chose to remain committed to coexistence? It'd be nice if this was a step towards that dream. That's another issue altogether. At the very least, I want to believe all our hard work will pay off in the end. Yeah. I guess we can only focus on what we can do right now and take it from there. I'm going to go on ahead. Would you mind talking to Xion for me? Once you're ready, we'll meet up at the castle entrance like usual. We can talk more there. Right, got it.